The Real McCoys, starring Walter Brennan, created by Irving Pincus. Want you to meet the family known as the Real McCoys. That's Grandpappy Amos, the head of the clan. He roars like a lion, but he's gentle as a lamb. And now here's Luke, who beams with joy since he may take Mrs. Luke McCoy. From West Virginia they came to stay in sunny California. Oh, Grandpappy Amos and the girls and the boys of the family known as the Real McCoys. <laughs> What's the matter, Grandpa? This is Flory's place. You know I stop off here every Sunday after church? Oh, I'm sorry, Grandpa. Plum forgot. What are you trying to do? Steer me away from Flory's fried chicken? Grandpa, ain't you ashamed to talk? For what? For imposing on Flory. Make her stay in her kitchen every Sunday and cook you fried chicken. What do you do for her? Eat it. <laughs> what Kate means, Grandpa, is what do you do after you eat? I said, what are you supposed to do after you eat a big meal? Flory might like you to take her out to dinner some Sunday. <laughs> you two out of your head. There ain't none of them restaurants in town can make fried chicken like Flory. <laughs> you don't know Flory. She likes for me to come over there on Sunday. I put a little sunshine into her life. She puts a little vittles into mine. <laughs> now, if you two are through asking a lot of silly questions, uh, I'll be on my way to my fried chicken. <laughs> How long you figure he can get away with just having her feed him every Sunday? Oh, it's hard to tell. You know how McCoy's got us away with women. <laughs> Bye, Grandpa! Bye, Bye, Grandpa! Got a damp or tree? Yes? Who are you? Ain't this Rory McMichael's house? Oh, Amos, come right in. <laughs> Amos, I want you to meet Henry Baldwin. Come to see your brother, did he? Why, no, George is out of town. Henry's one of my oldest and dearest friends. How do you do? Old friend, huh? <laughs> yes. Uh, Flora and I have been friends for many years. <laughs> oh, Henry. <laughs> Just passing through, going someplace else, was you? Why, Henry's having Sunday dinner with us. And looking forward to it, too. Flora's just about the best cook in the county. Oh. But I guess you know that by now, eh, McCoy? <laughs> yeah, I hope she get plenty of fried chicken. I'm starved. Oh, we're not having fried chicken. Not having fried chicken? <laughs> this is Sunday, ain't it? Yes, but we're having pot roast. It's Henry's favorite. Well, I guess it's all right, but I had my taste all set for fried chicken and pumpkin pie. Oh, I'm sorry, Amos. We're having pot roast and apple pie. Apple pie? That's one of my favorites. Well, come on, boys. We might as well sit down. You sit over there, Dinky. Dinky? Well, just a fond nickname when we were young. I was Dinky, and uh, she was Flora Bird. <laughs> Flora Bird? Yes. Come on now, boys. Let's eat. All of a sudden, I ain't hungry no more. <laughs> Amos McCoy not hungry? <laughs> Come on now, let's not be silly. Here, I'll take your hat. Why, Amos, what happened to your hat? Is that danged apple tree of yours, Flory. Them branches hanging over the wall. I warned you about it. You got a good one to chop them off. Amos McCoy, that's my tree. But the branches are hanging over my side of the wall. Well, I don't care. It's still my tree. Well, if them branches are hanging on my property, I got a right to chop them off. You certainly have not. If it's her tree, you must ask her permission before you do anything. I ain't asking you, Dinky. <laughs> Henry is a guest in my house, same as you. Well, it ain't the same as me, because I'm going. <laughs> but, but, but we haven't had dinner yet. Well, you eat it. I don't like pot roast, and I don't like apple pie, especially when the apples comes off the trees and knocks people's hats off.
happened? Oh, nothing. Just an accident, that's all. My wall, it's ruined. Oh, Amos, how could you do such a thing? Do, woman? I just got through telling you it was an accident. It's an act of faint, pure and simple. And you stand there talking like I've done it a purpose. Well, not that exactly, but... Seems to me you're worrying more about a wall than you are about a fellow human being who might have been hurt. Oh, Amos, I'm sorry. Are you hurt? Oh, nothing more than a broken hip. A broken hip? It's all your fault anyway. Them girls done branches off in your apple tree, knocked me off the tractor, and set her out of control. Oh, Amos, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I... What's that? What's what? There, right on the ground. Well, it ain't nothing. Why, it looks like a saw. <laughs> it is a saw. And what happened to your broken hip? What happened? Oh! oh. Stop faking now, Amos McCoy, and tell me what you're doing in the field with a saw. Oh, I need it for the wheat around here. Some of it's mighty delicate. It has to be hand cut. Got to treat every stem like it was a pussy willow. So that's what happened. You were going to cut down my apple tree, even after you knew you had no right to touch it without my permission. Dinky and I warned you. Oh, I might have known Dinky'd jump out of the bushes around here somewhere. <laughs> Dinky has nothing to do with it. Amos, you owe me an apology for what you've done. I owe you an apology. You owe me an apology. The whole thing started you having the apple tree there in the first place. Now, if it's sweet words you want, ma'am, you get them from Dinky. This is going to be a frosty morning in July before you get your apology out of me. Gee, what well, I have just in the wall. Oh, you Senor Grandpa, when you wreck something, you don't fool around. Yeah, I banged into it pretty hard, didn't I? Whoo! Grandpa, what are you gonna do about that wall? I ain't gonna do nothing about it. I said that part of it was an accident. Grandpa, all Flory wanted you to do was apologize. I think that's the least you could have done. Oh, you do, huh? Are you willing to ruin a real good friendship? I ain't ruining no friendship. I'm just setting things straight, that's all. When Flory starts thinking about this, she'll realize what she's losing, and she comes scratching around, trying to get me again. Senor Grampy's right. Whenever I leave my Conchita alone, she always comes scratching. Look at the scars. <laughs> I bet Miss McMichael won't ever come to this house again. Better not bet no money on that, Hassie. Look, she just drove off. <laughs> there, you hear that? She thought about it, and she's sorry. Uh, you kids go on to your room and do your homework. <laughs> Well, you've named Flory McMichael. Well, come in. How do you do? Hello, Kate, Luke. Howdy, Flory. Howdy. Mm -hmm. Say, why don't you two sit down there and me and Flory sit over here in the sofa where it'd be more comfy, Flory. Thank you. Sit yourself right down there. Thank you. Flory, I'm going to make it real easy on you. I accept your apology. You do. And I want you to know I don't feel no hard feelings again, you ate all. Don't you? I forgive you because, well, because you're a woman, you don't know no better. I see. And the way I feel about it, why it's all done, it's over, I forgot it already. Have you? To prove it, there's my hand on it. Oh, oh Flory. <laughs> you didn't have to write no apology. Besides, you know I can't read. <laughs> Luke read it. Luke. Read it to me, would you? How does it start off? Dear Amos, darling Amos, or how? <laughs> uh, you are hereby ordered to appear in court to show cause why you should not be. I thought this ain't no love letter. Summons. A summons? Grandpa, you're being sued. Sued? What's the meaning of this, Glory? I'm sorry, Kate, Luke, but I have no choice. Your grandfather ruined my stone wall, and I'm demanding that he either pay for it or repair it. You're demanding? I asked your grandfather for an apology, but he's too stubborn, too bullheaded to admit he's ever in the wrong. And so now, Amos, I'm taking legal action. And Dinky's, uh, uh, Henry says that I'm well within my right. Dinky. He pops up a more than a gopher and alfalfa patch. The trouble with Dinky is... Now, 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 hold on, hold on, everybody. Just simmer down. Grandpa Flora's right. If all she asks is to repair her wall, there ain't no need to go to court. Between you and me and Pepino, we can fix that wall easy. 
Would that satisfy you, Florian? Well, of course, Luke. Well, I ain't satisfied. I ain't repaired no wall. Now, Grandpa, we're willing to help now, you. you mind your own business. And if you think you're going to bamboozle him, Miss McCoy, then you've got another thing coming. If you want to fight, you've got to fight on your hands. Remember, i got a side to this story, too. Grandpa, Florian's a friend of ours. We don't need to fight with now, him. Now, Kate, Luke, you listen to me. This is my business, and I don't want nobody butting in about it. And you, I'll see you in court, Florian Bird. <laughs> well, Amos. I'm sorry. So are we, Florian. Yeah, bye, Florian. Oh, bye. Corporal, please rise for his honor, the judge. ran his tractor through my wall. Uh, and he knocked the stones 40 ways to Sunday. And that's just about all there is to it. Well, that seems to sum it up. You may step down, Flora. Uh -huh. or Miss McMike. <laughs> what do you mean, sums it up? You ain't heard my side of it yet. That's what we're going to do right now, Mr. McCoy. Take the stand, please. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I got my hand in the book, ain't I? Of course you do. <laughs> now, Mr. McCoy, let us hear your version of what happened. Well, the whole thing never would have happened if it weren't for the gall turned apple tree. You see, I'll stand up on my tractor, torn off the limbs, my foot slipped and hit the gear shift, and off she went. Now, let me understand this. You were standing on your tractor, cutting limbs off your apple tree. Oh, it was her apple tree. Ah, that puts a whole new light on the case. Well, it's about time. That... It seems to me, Mr. McCoy, that you're guilty of a double offense. <laughs> guilty of a double offense? That's right. Miss McMichael, do you wish to amend your complaint to include damages to your tree? Oh, no, Your Honor. The apples can grow back. I'm only interested in having the wall repaired. Mm, very well. Mr. McCoy, it is a judgment of this court that within the week you either pay Miss McMichael $50 for damages to her wall or repair the wall yourself. Next case. Now, just a minute. Now, I said next now, case. Now, look, you see here. Uh, Bailiff, will you see the defendant leaves the courtroom quietly? I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> Dinky. <laughs> Grandpa, did you give him one, sir? I bet you showed him, I bet you. How do you feel? I feel like a cow that's been in the hands of a frostbit farmer. <laughs> You run along to your room and get your study. Yeah, and study real hard, son, because someday you may grow up to be a crooked judge. <laughs> well, that's so, ain't it? That wasn't no court of law. That was a roping contest. And I was a calf. <laughs> well, no use crying about it. Nothing like knowing when you licked. Grandpa, what... What are you doing? Yeah, I'm going to get the money out of this jar here and pay that $50. Grandpa, that money belongs to all of us. We all of us worked pretty hard for it, and we agreed to save it for something useful. I know, but... See, I believe you're right at that. Why should we give them the pleasure of seeing us pay off on our hard-earned money here? And a wall probably ain't worth half that much. I know what we'll do. We'll build a wall ourselves. Me, you, and Pepina. Why, we can slap a wall up there in no time, right? Wrong. Grandpa, when this all started, we asked you to apologize to Florian and end it right there. And when you wouldn't do it, we offered to help you fix the wall. But you snapped at us and you told us to stay out of your business. Oh, my own kith and kin turned on me now. But all right. If you want to stay here and look out that window, see a poor old man working all by himself in the hot sun, a sweating and a straining, and so be it. <laughs> the thing that hurts the most is it 
Flory started all this. And I was so loyal to her, too. Never at no time did I ever take fried chicken from any other woman. <laughs> I thought she liked me. Well, I could sweet talk her into most anything. Yeah. Yeah. Grandpa, where are you going? I'm going out to settle this by myself like a said I would. Since when does Amos McCoy need anybody to help with his affairs? <laughs> Not so long as the old McCoy brain is still clicking. Glory. Amos. These are for you. Why, thank you, Amos. Will you come in? Would like to have a lemon drop? You know what they say, sweets for the sweet. Not just now, thank you. Well, you help yourself anytime you want it. Why are you looking at me like that? Well, I'm just surprised to see you here, Amos. I, I mean... After all that's happened, and... Oh, Flory, what happened in that courtroom shouldn't have no effect on, a, on our friendship. You know that. Well, I'm glad to hear you say so, Amos. Well, I do say it, Flory. You know, our friendship is too big to be busted up by one little squabble. And then again, I'd be kind of crazy to break off with the prettiest woman in the county. <laughs> oh, Amos, you always were a flatterer. Well, telling the truth ain't flattering. You know, Flory, you're high class. First time I ever seen you, I says to myself, I said, now there's a woman that don't have to wait for a wedding to put on a stocking. I think I will have a lemon yeah. job. You know, Amos, I'm glad there's no bad feelings. Of course there ain't no bad feelings. You know the way I feel about you, and... I hope you feel the same way about me. Oh, I do, Amos. You know I do. Flory. Uh, yes, Amos? I don't think there should be a wall separating me and you. <laughs> what a sweet thought. So I guess I can just best forget about repairing it, huh? Anything you say, Amos. Good. Because I'd just soon have the $50 anyway. <laughs> You expect me to pay you $50? Well, of course I do. You know the court order. Repair the wall or pay $50. And all the sweet talk in the world isn't going to change it. Remember Amos, Dinky? Of course. Hello, McCoy. <laughs> you know, I can hardly wait. Now, don't start that yet. Wait till the others come. Oh, here they come now. You, over here. Excuse me, Grandpa. Hi, Grandpa. Grandpa? Howdy, Grandpa. What's going on here? Well, nothing, Grandpa. We're just having a neighborly picnic. With them? Well, why not? You're the one that's got the quarrel with Flory. We're still friends. Hurry up with that basket, Luke. I'm sure everybody starved. Come and taste. Well, I guess that's the way things is nowadays. Used to be times when families was close. And they stuck together through thick and thin. I guess the world ain't like that no more. and he's learned his lesson? I'm sure he has. Then what are we waiting for? <laughs> Good 
Grandpa, it'll take you forever doing it that way. What you need is a little system. Okay, everybody, let's line up and get this job done. <laughs> What's going on around here? Nothing like work to whet your appetite for a picnic. With all of us, we'll be done in no time, Senor Grandpa. Come on, Amos. The sooner we get it done, the sooner we can get to the fried chicken. <laughs> fried chicken? What about him? I thought his favorite was pot roast. It is, but fried chicken's yours, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Flory. Yes, Amos. I apologize. You know, Flory Bird, you ain't only the prettiest girl in the county. You're the prettiest girl in the whole goddamn state. <laughs> you know, if you was 20 years younger, you could get your picture on the cover of a seed catalog. Amos! <laughs> <laughs>